You know, today I'm going to show you a heterogeneous reaction between wood and oxygen gas in the air. Major factor in determining the rate of a heterogeneous reaction is the frequency of collision. And heterogeneous means, let's see, hetero, different genius. So these are different phases, solid phase and a gas in the air, oxygen gas. The more surface area, the faster the reaction. Isn't that interesting? We're going to try to make it interesting this way. I've got some wood. I've got some oxygen gas. I'm going to put the wood in the flame, but first, the goggles. Not much of the surface area of the wood was exposed. So, you know, you don't see this bursting in the flames rapidly. Now, if I held it there for a while, eventually it would start to darken, and after a couple of minutes, it might catch fire. I can do that. When I put this in, it takes a while. And if I leave it in there long enough, it'll actually catch fire. But it does take a while. Because not much of the surface area of the wood is exposed to the flame. Again, not much of the surface area of the wood is exposed to the flame. So let me take a thinner piece where more is exposed. Still, when I put it in and take it out, eventually it will catch fire. But it does take a while. Now we're going to take what's called excelsior. They used to ship things with this. This is pre-styrofoam, pre-starch-based peanuts, excelsior. Now we're going to uh, get a tongs, which I've got right down here, because you don't want to hold this in your hand and hold it in the flame. That's not a good thing. Whoa! A little more of the surface area is exposed, so it burns a little bit faster. So what else could we use? Yeah, we could use some sawdust, which I just happen to have right here. I have some sawdust. And I'm going to sprinkle some sawdust into the flame. And you could see the part that stays in the flame can actually burn. Now, what can we use next? Well, luckily, I have a brother-in-law who's an engineer. He works for a toilet seat manufacturer. And it, it is true. They make wooden toilet seats. And they want to sand those really fine, if you get my drift. You wouldn't want you to rub you the wrong way, OK? <laughs> so there's a lot of dust thrown up in the air, wood dust. And if somebody walks into that sanding room with a cigarette or a match, or there's a short in the bearings, that whole room can explode. So literally, they have explosion windows that can blow out and a roof that's hinged so it comes up and can come back down. They don't want that place blowing up. That could be a disaster. So now, he's given me some of this wood dust. And I've got some in here that I've put in here. And I'm going to attempt to light it. So we're going to look at this other camera now. We're going to attempt to light some. But not much of the surface area is exposed. It starts to burn, but slowly. But if we aerate it, that is, we mix the dust with the air, then we can get an explosion like happens in a grain elevator or sometimes even on a rainy sweater, which we'll talk about in a moment. Now, the important technique here is don't inhale. <laughs> get you in trouble. Just like Clinton. <laughs> Notice I pause so you can edit that. All right. Can we get the lights down a bit? OK, here we go. Ooh, we get a nice flame. You don't want to do this with lycopodium. You can, but one, lycopodium is expensive. Two, I am deadly allergic to it. I developed a sensitivity over time, and lycopodium will flash much brighter, much faster. But some students may be allergic to it and may be very sensitive to it. So you need to be careful with that. OK, here I have what's called a grain elevator simulation. I have a flame right here, and I have some white powder in a funnel inside there, OK? So this is what happens with a grain elevator, but I'm not going to put the top on this can, not the top right here. I'm going to leave it open so you can see the effect that goes on inside and why the grain elevator could explode. OK, so if we could get the lights down partway with this, I'm going to stop on this part the dust will go up in theory, and something interesting will happen. OK. 
Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, the purge fan is on. That's a good thing. Okay, so here we saw the action of a heterogeneous catalyst or a heterogeneous reaction. The greater the surface area, the faster the reaction rates, and that's one of the things that's important in kinetics.